Hello, this is Kyle, and I'm going to review the new Disney Pixar film Onward, directed by Dan Scanlon, and starring Tom Holland and Chris Pratt. So, what did I think of Onward? I thought Onward was a beautiful film. Just unbelievably touching and heart gripping. I mean, I didn't have huge expectations for Onward going into the film, nor did I have it when the trailers were released, because I thought that the trailers, frankly, I didn't find them to be that good. And I think that with many Pixar films, you have to let the trailers um, do their own thing, and then you have to give them a chance, because a lot of times I've seen trailers for Pixar films that don't really get to the point of the movie through just a simple trailer. You need to see the film. So with Onward, I was pleasantly surprised at how much I enjoyed this film and how much it touched me in so many ways. Um, the plot is basically two brothers, played by Tom Holland and Chris Pratt, both go on a quest to find their father. But, this is the catch, their father is not alive, he's been dead for many years, and they were given a spell to cast that would bring the father back to life for one day, but what happens is something goes wrong, and they only get half of their father back, so it's only the half part of his body, the lower part of his body, his legs are the only things that they get back, and they have to go and find the other part of the spell to put him back to his original self. So that's the quest, and basically they go around the entire magical land that Pixar has now created, and it's really, really um, emotional at times where these kids... They both have their own relationship to deal with. How do these two brothers, who are very different, Tom Holland playing the character of Ian, who is this very skinny, um, kind of um, antisocial type kid, where Chris Pratt plays his older brother, Barley, who is very big and like nerdy, kind of like he's into the Dungeons and Dragons type gaming, and he's really much. He's really not like his brother at all, but what I love so much about these two characters was the love they have for each other, especially Barley towards Ian. Barley, played by Chris Pratt, is such a um, lovable brother. Like He's obnoxious, but he doesn't mean to be, and he has to take care of his younger brother, who never met his father. He was born right after his father passed away, and he really has to, like, you know, take care of him, and it's not like the typical brother relationship where sometimes he's just a mean brother, but he's just, the, it's just this family that is really, you feel for these guys, you feel for both of these characters. And then you have some other fascinating characters like Octavia Spencer plays the character of Cory. Um, she's this beast known as a manticore that has like wings and things and she's like a really sassy almost funny um, woman that's at the end of her rope and she just wants to live <laughs> like the old good old days and it's I, I don't want to spoil anything really but it's really, really funny at times, because they have some very creative things on how um, the magical creatures exist in this universe and how they work with each other. Um, what I really liked about this film, too, is it's very original, and there are a lot of nice messages in this movie that, to me, I would say that this is one of my favorite Pixar films in a long time, because I am not a fan of The Incredibles 2. I am not a fan of Finding Dory. Um, I thought Toy Story 4 was good, but it wasn't great. Um, I'm alright on Inside Out. 
and Cars 3, I don't know much about whether I, if I can still say I liked it. Coco was the one exception that I did like recently. So, I would say that this movie isn't as good as, say, Coco is, and it's not as good as the greats like Toy Story 1 or Monsters, Inc., or, I mean, Finding Nemo, but to me, this is one of, I think, the best in a long time for Pixar, and if you are anywhere touched by this movie, whether it be a family member that is reminded when you're watching this film or anything like this movie can relate to so many people that have either lost a loved one or are just like in this family where they have brotherly or sisterly like issues it's just such a great film for families and it's really i think very clever in terms of what they go for and how they go for it so at times it is a little slow especially when they're going on this quest um, but there's a good payoff at the end of the film. So I would say that I would give Onward a 9 out of 10, a 3.5 out of 4 stars, and a, um, B+. Plus. So, I highly recommend you guys see Onward, and I can't think of something to say, so bye-bye.